Hey everyone, I'm here to give you a sort of a starting um, point, reference, whatever, to all of my works in progresses, or my, my works in progress, my whips, if you will. Um, yeah, I mentioned in my plans for 2014 that I wanted to complete all of them, and I'm going to go ahead and just go through them all re real quick, and then that way when I maybe finish them, hopefully, I will finish them, um, you'll be able to see, you know, where I started from. Okay, so I'm just going to get the, the quick ones out of the way. <laughs> um, I made, it's like a little amigurumi cupcake. And it's been folded up so long I don't think it's going to retain its shape, so I may have to actually redo it. I don't know. Um, I made this for a friend, and then I didn't have any of the polyfill, and then I just, uh... I ended up, I think, getting her something else or buying her something else. Um, yeah. I just need to put some polyfill in it and sew it together. And there's my cat. She's investigating. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I think this, I mean, it's really cute. Um, but I just, you know, I don't know. I just need to do it because it's just been sitting in my closet for a long time. And I'm sure it'll look better once I actually fill it up and everything. <laughs> this is the fat bottom bag from, um, I think this is in the Happy Hooker book by Debbie Stoller. Um, yeah, it's a really cute bag and it uses this really beautiful herringbone stitch. Um, yeah. So, you know, I, you can see I used bamboo handles and then I couldn't find the perfect button. And then I just stopped. I couldn't find the button and, I, th and then I just put it in the closet and I forgot about it. This has been years and years and years and years at this point. Um, you can see I even took the time to line it. And, I mean, that's just pretty outrageous that I haven't got around to it yet. So, that's my goal. I'm going to find the right button. Um, I will look on Etsy or something. I don't even think Etsy was around when I made this. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So, that will be done soon. Now this one, I'm sad to say, is actually still in progress. Um, I told you that I was going to be working on it, and I did work on it, but then I didn't finish it. Um, this is the scarf I was making for my husband before I ended up just crocheting him one. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. I have a lot more to do. I'm just not that fast of a knitter, and I think... I don't know, like, I was having some problems. I think I must have missed up or skipped a row or something. I don't know. That's the problem when you are working on something and then you stop it and then you go back because you will forget what you were doing, I guess. So, but I mean, it looks fine now. When I first started back, it took me a couple tries to figure out what in the world I was doing. So, <laughs> that will be done. Hopefully my next winter. <laughs> well, maybe even before the end of this winter. That's the thing. I'm going to stay positive. It's going to get done. Now, this thing, oh, it's so ugly, so just don't judge me. Um, <laughs> I was making a wreath. I was going to make this for my sister. Um, and basically what you do is you just take little felt circles and you uh, fold them over twice. So you, like, you make them into like little quarters. See? And then you pin it to the wreath form. Well... I don't have a circle cutter thing. I mean, I have hole punches and stuff, but I they really don't go through felt all that easy. But there are actual, like, there are things that are made for felt and fabric and, and stuff like that. And I don't have one, but if I want to finish this, I'm going to definitely have to get one or something. Um, what I had, what I did, I thought, I was like, oh, it'll look cute. I had took um, a, like a... I took a like a gold um, ink pad and I stamped circles onto the felt and then I cut the felt out in the circles and I thought oh it'll have like little gold tips it'll be so cute well they are now green can you see that yeah I mean it just looks dirty <laughs> that's the thing it looks dirty and there's like little fuzz on it and I don't know like, it just looks dirty. I don't like it. Um, so this, I think I might just take all of this off and then 
do something with it. I had tried to cut set, like some of the, the ugly parts off, but it just didn't work. Olive says hi. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, she likes to check out what I'm doing. Anyway, so I don't know. I had tried to cut off like the ugly part with like scissors and it looked a little better, but it just it just doesn't look good and I would I wouldn't give this to anyone looking like it does. So um I'll figure something out with that. Now this next project, um I was making a, a wreath too. I don't know why that's in there. Um, <laughs> I was making like a pom pom wreath, and so I may start making all these different size pom poms. And I, there's another color, a blue, that's supposed to be made. And I stopped after red and green. So um, I think I was just really tired of making pom poms, to tell you the truth. So I was thinking what I might do is instead of using that, uh, instead of doing that wreath with the felt, I may just put this on there and make it, you know, at least have something finished. I probably will go ahead and do another color too. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I just have a lot of pom-poms, all kinds of pom-poms. I think I need to make green, more green ones, but, um, <laughs> they're sort of fun to play with really, but it's time to actually get those out of this little storage box and onto a wreath or something. And I put this piece of paper down. I know that seems weird. <laughs> I guess I must have put this in there. And that those pom-poms for a little bit, um, you know, like they sometimes will have like little pieces of fuzz on them and stuff from where you cut them. Um, and I just, I just didn't want to get this on this hat. I'll show you the hat real quick, I guess. It's just a hat I knit. Um, I don't even know when I finished this. It was a long time ago. Uh, yeah. It's really nice. It's actually made of cotton. But it's like a really soft cotton. I think this was, it was I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. And I don't know why I wanted to make one in cotton, but I, I did. And so I did. So yeah, that's a little sidebar. I guess it's more of a finished object from a long, long, long time ago. All right. Put that back in there. I think I was making that to give to someone, actually. Now this last one, this is the big one. This is the blanket I was working on. And you can see, I'm not gonna pull it all the way out. Well, I don't know, I might. Um, actually, let me pull it out. Okay, here it is laid out. This is actually still doubled over, so you can um, sort of judge how big it is, I guess. Hey, look, the cat's back. <laughs> Should I really just make a video about how cute she is? I mean, that's, at this point, that's what's happening. Oh, I know. Maybe I'll just make this for her. Maybe I'll finish it off and it'll just be her blanket. Um, anyway, let me get her off. Okay. I at least got her off the blanket. She's still staring at it. <laughs> Waiting for me to stop looking at it. Um, anyway, what happened, I stopped working on it for a while. And then when I picked it back up, I think I grabbed the wrong size hook. Or my tension was just different or whatever and it started looking a little strange to me um the thing is i can't even tell now but i know when i was working on it it just seemed like i had like like it was just bigger i don't know so and i'm pretty sure i used an eye hook or was it a J? See, that's the problem. This is the reason I should never stop working on stuff or leave myself notes for stuff when I do, you know, stop it. Anyway, um, I really want to get this finished. You know, I've got the yarn for it. I've got all the yarn that I need for it. I, so I've got this one and then I've got the purple one that I was, that's uh, still open. And then I've got two more skeins of each color. I think I bought four skeins each. So I probably won't even use that many for it, but I was trying to make it huge I guess um these are the big Vantage uh choice skeins I don't even know if they make the big ones anymore but it's it was 340 yards I actually found them at Ollie's which is sort of um I guess it's like a big lots but 
I don't know, they had, we were in there looking for something with a friend, and, because we heard that they had them, and they didn't, but anyway, um, they had a big table of yarn, and I was like, oh, <laughs> so I just bought a bunch of it, and it actually was only $2.99, this is regular price $7, but I figured, like, this is three, um, so like $3, and bigger than the normal skeins for sure, um, it sort of looks flattened down because I've been using it, but trust me, it was, it was pretty big, you can tell by the, by the ball band. All right, um, yeah, so this one is going to take me forever, but I just need to get back to it, it's just the basic, like, I guess ripple stitch or chevron or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's really simple. I may do a tutorial on this pattern, stitch, whatever. Um, and I'll probably do something a lot smaller, obviously. Okay, that's all of the works in progress that I have currently. Um, if I'm forgetting something or I've misplaced something or it's in somewhere else, I will do, um, I'll just talk about that when I do an update on these projects. I'm hoping to at least get the smaller things done. Um, those shouldn't take that long, really. And then I'm going to work on to the bigger things. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. And there's all of trying to get the yarn. All right. All right. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Um, Olive. No, she's trying to steal the show. Can I please have that? Can I please have it? Thank you. All right. I'll leave you with a cute picture of the cat and I will um, come back and, you know, when I get to a point um, where I can show you an update or whatever, I'll do that. Anyway, have a great day. Bye. Say bye, Olive. Say bye. Are you just going to go to bed? Say bye. She's got back on the thing. Tell everyone bye. You gonna say bye? You gonna say bye? Say bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time.